doses results like appetite suppression and and uh, weight loss and a drop in blood pressure. A lot of folks get off their medications by using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It doesn't have the the uh, full amounts of everything you need, but it's a great way to make sure that you're getting your nutrients in the middle of the day when you'd ordinarily be snacking. It tastes great. It's great for kids. It's, uh, it goes wonderfully in your smoothie. You can make ice pops out of it. You can you can bake cookies with it. You can do a lot of things with this stuff. Uh, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine for 50 bucks a canister. What are you waiting for? If you haven't given this stuff a shot yet, you can find out all about it on my website, BrightSideBen.com, or by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're uh, talking about protein, and the, way, the main way they measure the uh, nitrogen levels, uh, the BUN and creatinine, can sometimes, uh, when you have elevated BUN and creatinine, you can sometimes get confused with, uh, uh, you can either, your doctor feel like, oh, well, you got kidney problems because the kidneys are supposed to be clearing nitrogen, and indeed, an elevated BUN and elevated creatinine can possibly, potentially, be indicative of a problem with your kidneys, but it can also be indicative of just plain old eating a lot of protein. So don't worry about an elevated bun or an elevated creatinine if you simply, uh, if you have healthy kidneys and you're simply uh, uh, eating a lot of protein. It's, it can just mean that your body's not using all the protein, uh, all of the uh, protein that it's getting in. I personally would prefer people to, myself included, to err on the side of extra protein rather than not getting enough. And I sure would not be depriving myself of this super, super important anti-aging, pro-growth, pro-repair substance protein simply because I had an elevated bun or elevated creatinine. The main point here is nitrogen is important stuff and you really don't want to be losing it. You want to be keeping it so it can be used. If you're an athlete or a bodybuilder, a certain amount of nitrogen is going to be lost as you exercise, especially if you're doing some serious weightlifting or serious muscle building or serious uh, running or something where you're breaking down muscle. Remember, if you're building muscle, you've got to break down muscle first. Build up requires breakdown. This is how the body works. Breaking down muscle turns on the build-up process. So muscle has to be broken down before it can be built up, and the breakdown can cause a temporary elevation in nitrogen excretion. That is a temporary elevation in bun or creatinine levels. However, for the most part, you're going to want to be holding on to your nitrogen so that it can be used. Health and wellness, anabolism, building, growing, anti-aging is all associated with having nitrogen in the body. And this is why, why serious bodybuilders and weightlifters are going to be concerned about nitrogen retention. And nobody's saying that you have to be a serious athlete or a serious bodybuilder to be healthy. But at the same time, being healthy is a lot more in common with bodybuilding than not being healthy. Being healthy is building a body. Not necessarily bodybuilding, but being healthy is building a body. All right, so protein, in my opinion, the key, the major player in weight loss, the key step to losing weight is to increase your protein. Yesterday, I was kind of being a little facetious. I said, try doing two, uh, one and a half to two scoops of protein powder. One world whey is, a, is the best one going. A whey protein powder. We'll talk about whey protein here in the next couple of days. Uh, just, just for an experiment, do a, a scoop and a half or a couple of scoops of whey protein every few hours and watch how full you are. Are. Watch how satisfied you are. You're probably not even going to be able to do your third dose. By the time you've had two, uh, two, two scoop doses, you're going to have a lot of protein, and you're sure not going to feel like snacking. Now, I'm not saying you want to go crazy on your protein, but just for demonstration, just for just to show yourself how powerful this stuff is as an appetite suppressant, for a couple of doses, maybe half a day or so, three or four doses, two, three, four doses of protein, uh, do an excessive amount, maybe uh, uh, 45 to 60 grams. That's one and a half scoops to two scoops and watch what happens. You're going to be amazingly satisfied. You're going to be amazingly full. In fact, you might be too full. Back off and find out a good spot for you, and that is, that's basically the amount of protein you want to have. Back off to where you don't feel stuffed and full, but where you don't feel like snacking. And let me tell you something, folks. It's an amazingly healthy way to lose weight. And, as I was saying yesterday, one of the reasons for our obesity epidemic may be because we're not getting enough protein. Protein is really, compared to carbs anyway, protein is really hard to find. Good quality protein. And why do you think that is? Price. Money. Dollars. Protein is expensive. Protein is the most expensive of all the macronutrients. And really good quality protein, that is crazy expensive compared to fat and compared to sugar. That's the biggest complaint people have about whey protein, which is the best protein going. It tends to be expensive. So what? Cut your costs somewhere else. In fact, 
the appetite suppressant effects of protein mean you're going to be spending less money on crappy food. So, yeah, you might be spending more on the front end if you get yourself on a good whey protein supplement. It may cost you, I don't know, a buck a dose or something along those lines. So you may be spending more money on the front end, but on the back end, you'll be saving money because you're not going to be snacking as much. You're not going to be eating the, you're not going to have the food cravings as much during the day, and you're going to be a lot healthier on top of everything else. So while you may, uh, you may cost you a little bit extra on the front end, you're going to be saving money on the back end. By the way, all foods are going to have protein. I love whey protein. I love egg protein. Those are my two favorite sources of protein. Those are the two best sources of protein, but all foods are going to have a little bit of protein in them. Even fruits are going to have a little bit of protein in them. Even an apple is going to give you maybe a half a gram or so of protein. Cheaper protein can be found in beans. Uh, You're going to get, of course, protein in in crappy meats like McDonald's hamburgers or hot dogs or sausages, and those are pretty easy to find. But the best sources of protein are going to be whey and eggs. And when it comes to eggs, those are pretty darn inexpensive anyway, and they're versatile and they're tasty too. That little nitrogen, it's all about that little nitrogen, that little nitrogen attached to the carbohydrates, that little nitrogen that in essence turns a carb into a protein is a pretty expensive little proposition. It takes a lot of work for nature to stick a nitrogen onto a carb. In fact, sticking a nitrogen onto a carb, something that plants do very effectively, is one of the most miraculous pieces of chemistry in all of nature. It takes a lot of work, however, for, for a plant to be able to nitrogenate a sugar, and that's what makes protein expensive. That's what makes protein the most expensive of all the nutrients. In the natural world, plants can, can, make, uh, can make protein. Plants can do this nitrogen-attaching process, but in the world of industry, in the world of technology, it takes huge factories and lots of powerful and somewhat nasty chemistry to accomplish the same thing that plants do in a tiny millimeter of space. Because nitrogen is so darn important, because nitrogen is so darn important for everything, really, nitrogen is just powerful, powerful stuff. For many years, scientists and organic chemists were trying to figure out how to get nitrogen industrially, how to produce nitrogenated compounds industrially. You know, our air, our atmosphere is almost 80% nitrogen, but it's inert nitrogen. It's nitrogen that doesn't do anything. Plants can take that nitrogen and make it active, but in industry, it's very very difficult to do. In fact, for many years, this was kind of the industrial chemical holy grail, how to create active nitrogen in an industrial or factory type of setting. All right, I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Men who want intimacy and pleasure back in their love life don't ask if, they ask when. So men, spark up your love life, get pleasure and intimacy back, and please your special lady with Epic Nights. Epic Nights is a safe, revolutionary herbal sexual formula for men that combines ancient herbal ingredients and modern science to significantly support stamina, performance, and pleasure. Men, Epic Nights is a proven 100% natural product that works first time, every time, even after consuming alcohol. And you won't hear any of those cliche disclaimers Man, because Epic Nights will not give you unwanted side effects, but Epic Nights will allow you to give your partner what they deserve. Epic Nights is guaranteed as one of the most effective male enhancers on the web or will refund your purchase 100%. Buy Epic Nights at buyepicnights.com. Spelled B U Y E P I C N I G H T S dot com or call 1 877 330 1120. 877 330 1120. Epic Nights. One pill. One Epic Night. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 
100-foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. A little right, a little left, but always independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network, GCN. Back on the bright side, I'm going to save our this story for uh, it's kind of a cool story about how uh, they just how they figured out how to get nitrogen, how to produce nitrogen industrially. Nitrogen is found in the air or in the atmosphere, 77 to 80 percent, but it's inert; it can't do anything. So for the longest time, this was the holy grail of chemistry to try to figure out how to get nitrogen, how to activate nitrogen, or do the same thing plants do: just take nitrogen from the air and figure out a way to make it uh, make it usable, uh, take advantage of nitrogen's act- active properties turn inert nitrogen, inert atmospheric oxygen, uh, uh, nitrogen into active nitrogen, and this is all described in a cool book called The Alchemy of Air, if you're interested in uh, checking it out. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking about protein, the importance of dietary protein for bodybuilding, for anti-aging, for growth and repair, and of course, for bone building, for osteoporosis, or anti-osteoporosis effects. Okay, 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's take our first phone call of the day. James in Texas. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? 
Hey, uh, Ben, I was wondering, if somebody, somebody increases healthy fats in their diet, is there a way for the body to use that fat to uh, supply carbohydrates and protein to the body? Negatory. It'll supply carbs. Fat is a type of carbohydrate, um, and, and fat will get broken down uh, into sugar. It can be used for energy, depending on the type of fat that you're using. But protein is a whole different animal because of that little element of nitrogen. And as we'll talk about tomorrow, it's very